Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition review and comparison at Revzilla.com. So in this video, I'm going to walk through the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. I'm going to compare it to the original Black Edition, just that regular Hero 3. Talk briefly about the silver, and then we're going to dive into the weeds on the feature set. Now, if you've come over and watched my comparison already that we have on Revzilla TV, it was a little bit shorter, click right here and click ahead and dive right into the features. But for those of you that want to really understand what changed, let's dive into it. The first thing you're going to notice, and there are a bunch of key changes when we move to the GoPro Hero 3 Plus from the GoPro Hero 3. The first one is the size of the housing. Now it's the same size camera, but the housing is now still waterproof up to 40 meters, but it's 20% smaller. You can see the streamlined factor here. More functional, and I personally believe that the way that you get the camera in and out is a little bit easier. Notice the button configuration is still the same. Again, it's going to still be the same camera inside from a size standpoint. The weight is going down 20%. Now that's the camera being reduced in weight, which is a nice feature. But my favorite new feature on this camera, and there are a couple of them, the first one is 30% increased battery life on the Hero 3 Plus. We know that these, especially at the Black Edition level, which is the top of the food chain from GoPro, it crushes battery. You get about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the resolution that you're going to shoot in. So, knowing you're getting 30% more battery life, for those guys that are hardcore out there, you'll probably still have to carry a couple batteries, but it's just a nice feature, and the batteries are cheap. You can upgrade and get an extra battery for around $20. So, bravo, GoPro. I'm glad that you did that. The next thing that I'm really a fan of is the fact that the glass and the sensor have been improved. Less artifacting, better quicker quality. It's going to record colors better. Again, that's just the technology advancing, which is really, really nice. Now, the other two pieces here that are just going to be specific to the Hero 3 Plus in Black Edition, not in Silver, and all those changes actually are incorporated into the Silver Plus as well, or the Hero 3 Plus Silver. What you're going to get is a Super View mode, which actually is an extended almost fisheye lens here on the Black Edition, which gives you that built-in ability to go there along with your medium, your narrow, and your wide-angle lens at different resolutions. You also have an auto low-light sensor. So now, depending on the frame rate, if you turn auto low-light on just in the black, you're going to be able to have it adjust the frame rate based on the optimal performance for low-light conditions. On the Hero 3 Plus across the board, they've also adjusted the sound and the microphone, which typically doesn't come that much into play unless the camera is going to be out of its housing. And remember, I'd love for you to click right here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. We constantly are rolling out new reviews, but I'd love to hear your questions, your comments, your feedback, your experience with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black. Leave them on our YouTube page. So now that you've got a good picture on really what's changed, and the pun was intended, keep in mind, guys, we ship these bad boys for free. They're going to be around $400. I love the fact that they didn't change the price moving from the Hero 3 to the Hero 3 Plus in Black Edition and Silver Edition. Same price points. But remember, guys, if you do open it, it isn't electronic. We're going to have a hard time taking it back. So make sure that you really understand what you're getting when you make that investment. Now, moving to the feature set. Remember, and if you're watching this, we all know who GoPro is. GoPro is the leader of the pack within the pro and consumer model it's micro cameras on the fly. These bad boys for the Black Edition are really going to be that apex predator top of the food chain. Remember, you have resolutions that go from WVGA to 720 to 960 to 1080p, 1440, 2.7K, all the way up to 4K in various frame rates. And that's completely insane. That's just on the Black Edition here. So remember, a lot of different options. And again, when you think about frame rates that go from anywhere 15 frames per second in that 4K rate, all the way up to 120 frames per second when you have them, when you have this dialed into 720, again, you have that full range. And that's going to be 30 frames per second. You can get 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second. You have a lot of options there. Remember, I talked about field of view earlier. You have narrow, you have medium, you have wide, you have super view, and they're different depending on what resolution you're in. There's also that photo quality mode, right? 12 megapixel pictures, 7 megapixel, or 5 megapixel. You have time lapse up this up all the way up to a minute between shots, and there's also going to be 30 frame per second burst mode where you can ratchet this guy 12. You can take 30 12 megapixel shots in one second if you want to capture an action shot. So it's really, really cool that they've done that. The thing that tied this together outside of the, outside of the um, auto low light, outside of super view, the nice part about the black, remember, and this is the difference between the silver models, even here in the Hero 3 Plus, is that you have the ProTune mode. ProTune completely turns on the sensor. It gives you the maximum ability to capture information. It's going to completely crush your battery, but when you're using ProTune, you can really, really, outside of just 
a manual white balance, really get the maximum ability to use that lens, use that high performance glass and that high performance sensor within the camera. So now that you have a good gauge on the Hero 3 Plus Black's feature set, quick note on the silver, and that's gonna be the Hero 3 Plus Silver. Big upgrades other than everything I've talked about, other than the exclusions I did mention, is now the image processor on the silver is going to be faster. I think it's about double. So you're able to get 1080p at 60 frames per second, and you can also get 720p at 120 frames per second, and that's gonna be on the Hero 3 Silver around the $300 mark. They were some of the most sought after features in the first black edition. It's nice to see them trickle down. Now, if you look at the cameras themselves, remember we talked about the differences in the housing, it's that waterproof housing. Let's walk through the guts, let's walk through some of the how do you use this bad boy. Here's how I'm gonna open it. And remember too that GoPro has, and it's one of the things I've neglected to mention, they have the ability with this guy to create your own ad hoc Wi-Fi network. And the cool part about that is it allows you to adjust the camera settings and start and stop it, not just with the remote that's included, it does up to 50 cameras, but through the app for your iPhone or your Android. Well now, outside of just lining up your shot and tweaking settings, when you're not shooting, you can actually stream to your phone and watch the clips that you already shot from the camera through your phone via an ad hoc Wi-Fi network. You don't have to be on any other Wi-Fi network. So that's a really cool upgrade, and they've done that actually on the silver and the black editions here with the Hero 3 Plus. So moving into my basic anatomy on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, very similar basic anatomy to what we've seen in previous models. On and off buttons on the front, it's gonna allow you to turn it on, it's gonna beep, multiple indicators on all sides to let you know that you are recording or not. There's no SD card, and remember, it's a micro SD card, and you're gonna to wanna to buy a Class 10. They're the expensive ones because it's going to be processing and trying to write so much information, the card has to match with the speed of the camera. Now you use this button to move through my modes of either review, camera, settings, all these different things. And then the button on top would be my record start and stop button. And remember these buttons link up directly with the silver toggles on the outside of the housing. Now we look at some of the other features. This button on the side is for the Wi-Fi. It creates that ad hoc network I talked about. And remember, I did talk about the indicators. You can see them on a lot of the sides, on the bottom, on the top, and on the front. Moving into the back, here's my battery compartment. Battery compartment's easy. Remember, the extra batteries are around 20 bucks. They're really cheap. And remember, for you guys that love to create footage, you're gonna kill your battery long before you kill the card. Here's my battery, lithium ion, rechargeable comes out. It recharges in an hour or two, and you're gonna get between an hour and an hour and a half on the, on the original black. On a Hero 3 Plus, you're 30% ahead of that. But it really matters so much what mode you're shooting in, because the more processor, the more information you're taking in more quickly, the more you're gonna crush that battery, because it takes more power to support those cycles. Battery compartment goes back on. Now I'm gonna show you the last feature here on the side. This is where my connectors live and my SD card. Notice that pops right off. So I have micro USB, also will take my connectable external mic there, micro HDMI, and there's my micro SD card. Remember, class 10 is what you need to invest in. If you go out and buy the cheapest one at the supermarket during the checkout line, you're gonna be disappointed. It's not gonna be able to keep up with the speed in which you're capturing information. So now that you have a good gauge on how it works and really what the key components are going to be, remember there's a lot of accessories that come from GoPro. They make a suction cup mount, they make a pole. It, actually, the GoPro is one of my favorite accessories. Really, really cool shots with it. But what's included in the box, remember, your Hero 3 Plus Black Edition is gonna come with the remote. The Hero 3 Plus Silver does not come with a remote. Remember, it's up to 50 different cameras and on and off start and stop, which is a nice touch. It comes with a flat mount, and it comes with a sticky mount. It also comes with the housing, the new refined housing. But from there, it's really up to you depending on what kind of what kind of accessories or mounts you wanna go with. And honestly, depending on what you're riding, whether it's chest mount, whether it's helmet mount, whether it's bike mount, whether it's a suction cup with a J-arm, I've used all of it and it's very cool. I even have a quadcopter we stick these suckers on and fly around and harass our neighbors here at Philly or at our Revzilla headquarters. So the next step in your journey is to click here and read other rider reviews on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. And remember, Revzilla sells that silver edition as well in the Hero 3 Plus. You don't have to take my word for it. Keep in mind, we do ship for free all day long at these price points. But remember, if you do open it, we're not going to be able to take it back. As always, if you want to call and talk to a gear geek, I'm not going to give you my mobile phone number, but call 877-792-9455 or see us at Revzilla.com. Get in touch with our geeks. We're all geeks. You should see the amount of GoPro stuff we have at Revzilla.com. Always attached to our bikes. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown and comparison of the new GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.